Finding out you're going to be a parent is one of the biggest moments in a first time mom or dad's life. Happiness, excitement, probably a little bit of nervousness, but imagine all those brand new emotions being extinguished in the blink of a moment. You're not gonna believe this story. Many men dream of being a father. And for Chris of West Palm Beach, Florida, his dream was becoming a reality. As his girlfriend got closer to the due date, he prepared the nursery, making sure every last detail was taken care of, except for one. Chris's girlfriend was technically still married, and before he knew it, she went back to her husband, cutting Chris out of her life and out of his biological son's life. What's more surprising is that legally she has every right to do it in the state of Florida. With all the bad dads out there, should this one be banned from his own son's life? This is a, it's a mind boggling story. Chris's attorney, Rebecca Brown Wiseman, joins us now via Skype. And Rebecca, I, when I heard this, I could not believe that a biological father, his rights to see his child, he wants to be involved in their lives, it is taken away from him. How does this happen and what's going on right now in terms of the courts? The courts unfortunately see it very differently than the average person I've noticed. In the courts, they're trying to at least use an old, outdated notion of protecting the child. They're trying to protect the child so the child is not stigmatized in the court's mind from being an illegitimate child. So what they're trying to do is keep the child of an intact marriage. So if the mother and her husband object to the biological father basically being a parent to his own biological child, they're going to allow it. Here in California, the law is completely different. And the standard here is what's in the best interest of a child. And once a dad establishes paternity through a DNA test, and there's, there's no doubt about him being the biological father, then the question becomes what's in the best interest for, of the child. And the court does an evaluation, may do a psychological evaluation, but does a determination about is it in the best interest of the child to have both the biological dad, and in this case, the stepfather involved. In Florida, is that analysis performed at all before the judge just determines that the bio dad has no involvement with the child? Unfortunately, here in Florida, it's different. My client was trying to get standing to be able to get the psychologist to do a social science investigation, to do a psychological evaluation, but he was deemed he doesn't even have standing to be able to do that because he has no rights as a parent to be able to get, go forward and have a contested child custody case. I cannot believe this because imagine all the issues here that you think about. There's a big difference here. If a biological parent has in any way, shape, or form shown an inability to parent, has been abusive, absolutely, I understand this, but you think about this child. <clears throat> At some point, the child is going to be old enough to understand they're going to find out yeah. someone, and this, this child has this biological father who wants to be involved. How can you not give a parent? It also seems incredibly sexist to me, no, well, because if, if the roles were reversed, let's just say that the man went back to his wife, could they take the baby and raise it as their own and then mom? I mean, it's just, it's it's bizarre to me. This is going to be even more bizarre to you, Travis, is the concept of this law is they're trying to prevent the stigma of illegitimacy. This 1950s notion that a child has to be in a house and raised by a married couple. And we know there's so many different family models. There some families are, are two moms, some families are two dads. There are blended families where kids have a stepmom and a stepdad and they have bio mom and bio dad involved. So this, this notion in the Florida statute, again, Rebecca, how old is this law that's still being used in 2017 when it is so outdated? The law is from Prevet from 1993, and there has been a lot of evolution. If you look back in 1976, biological fathers actually didn't even have a right to even request to have a case. Right now, we're making a constitutional argument on equal protection grounds, because, in fact, this law is sexist. If the dad, the biological dad in this case, was married to a wife, that does not become the child of the dad and his wife, and mo biological mom's not involved. It's actually the opposite. It would become the parent of the biological mom and the biological dad, but the biological dad's wife has no involvement legally for that child. You know, to be honest with you, I actually felt some misgivings towards the mother because it, it just seemed like she wanted to pretend like this never happened. I'm just going to go back to my husband and pretend it's his, but it's not.